You're looking at an image, uh, image of Nicholas Del Popolo, the first American athlete to be caught out by the London Olympics' strict uh, anti-doping rules. Uh, and to, uh, to talk to us about this is Shirley Wang, who's joining us from, from London. Uh, tell us the details, Shirley. What, what exactly was he caught out uh, with? Well, uh, Mr. Del Popolo was um, tested positive for marijuana after he competed in a judo event on July 30th, which was last Monday. And this morning, uh, the IOC announced that they were banning him from the game, so he has to immediately leave and give up his credentials and go home because marijuana is a, is a prohibited substance. Which, which, I mean, just immediately my reaction to that was, my, my goodness, I mean, not exactly a drug one associates with uh, a athletic performance enhancement. Um, is that, why is it actually included? Because it does seem to be, if anything, it would be a drag on a judo uh, uh, player's performance. You know, that, that might be a valid point, um, but, <laughs> but there are over 200 substances that are considered ba on this ban list, right. and apparently this is one of them. It is, after and all, in, illegal. In Mr. Del Popolo's <laughs> case, he said that he inadvert that's right, that's right. He said he inadvertently consumed a food without his knowledge that had marijuana in it, and this was prior to the games. So he said he was a, a, a very apologetic and embarrassed for what he had done. Right. I'm not, I'm not going, to, going to profess to have any sort of inside knowledge about what that food might be. But um, what, what exactly, uh, you know, t tell us a little bit, if, if you can, about the, how, how rigorous these tests are and how they've been going. I know that there were claims in London that they had the most rigorous tests of any Olympics and they claimed that you would catch every, every doping uh, uh, practitioner. What, what is the, uh, how's it going at this stage? Have they got many others? That's right. Yes, they have. So you're right. This is going to be considered the most drug-tested games of the in Olympic history. They're planning to test 5,000 samples, which is the most that's ever been conducted. In Beijing, it was about 4,500. So far into the games, which is a, a week in, they've banned four athletes from the games for testing positive for different substances. And another one is provisionally suspended, barring another sample. Um, they're testing that right now. So altogether, so far, um, five sanctions. And compared to Beijing, where there were ultimately 14 cases during the games, there were also another six t uh, positive tests after the games. So it's difficult to say right now you know, how these will compare to Beijing, but those are the numbers. And also to your question of whether they're going to catch everybody, I think that the Olympic Committee is pretty clear that they, they don't anticipate being able to catch everybody because it's just, it's really hard if they don't know what substances to look for or if there's no test available yet, mm. they won't be able to catch those individuals. Well, this is whole idea that they get... But they, they will be keeping the samples for up to eight years after the game so they can do new testing. Right. This is whole idea they keep one step ahead of them all the time. But what about our boy uh, Nicholas Del Popolo? I mean, has a bit of a reputation apparently. What can you tell us about him? That's right. So he's 23 years old. Uh, apparently, he has a bit of a rep reputation. He credits judo actually as helping him turn his life around. And he had um, competed on Monday and actually finished seventh. He was thought to maybe even be a medal contender. And um, he seems well respected amongst his his fellow competitors and, and athletes. So, um, you know, as he said, he was embarrassed, and this was a real, you know, real shame. He apologized to his his the fans and also his teammates and it certainly seems as though he's someone with a somewhat checkered past who did try to turn things around and, and again credits judo for, for helping him do that. Can you tell us a little bit about that checkered past just to uh, entertain us? What, 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 what was it, uh, what does it entail? I'm so sorry, I couldn't quite hear you. That, that checkered past, what, what, what was involved in that? Uh, um, well, I don't know the details except that um, there has been um, uh, I don't know if they said allegations or he's admitted it, but you know, some, some drug use in the past, um, you know, he's, he's definitely had some, some trouble before, and I think um, I'm not the expert on his, on his past history, so we'll have to leave it at that. All right, then, Shirley, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate that.